Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in digital infrastructure. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am so excited right now to be joined by Jason Adkins. He is the CEO of Bluebird Fiber. Um, we actually discovered what a small world it is. We are from neighboring towns back in Virginia. So Jason, it's great to meet you and to have you here today. Thanks for having me. And, and you forgot to mention, it was actually rival high school. Right. So, so we, <laughs> we were from true. rival high school. So a little bit of bad blood, but that's all right. We'll yeah. Yeah, go blue streaks. I just want to throw go, that out there. Go gobblers. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks again, Jason, for being here. And I want to talk first about Bluebird Fiber's um, major rebrand re that you underwent in 2024. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, we decided to freshen up the brand a little bit. Uh, we're a 25-year-old company that had went through a name change previously to Bluebird Network uh, a few years ago. Um, you know, as, as you know, it, it's nice to rebrand, come up with something a little fresh, give the market something new to look at. And we really felt strongly about having fiber in the name. Um, you know, Bluebird Network was a good name. We have fiber and data centers, but we are mostly a connectivity company. So uh, letting the market know that we're fiber based, that we really value fiber. And like we always say, fiber always wins. So we just put it in our name. Excellent. And tell me, what is your operating um, uh, footprint right now? We talked about it a little bit. Yeah, so, so we're headquartered in Kansas City, uh, and we really run from Kansas all the way through uh, Missouri, most of the towns there, Illinois, and the eastern part of Iowa. So we have a really nice tier two, tier three footprint right in the middle of the country where, you know, frankly, we find a lot of folks are underserved. Uh, and, and can use as much fiber as they can. So. Yeah, absolutely. And so I want to talk next about growth. So that's a great segue. So what do Bluebird's um, growth projections look like in 2025? Where are you building in the year ahead? Yeah, so so we're uh, only business focused. So business carrier, schools and libraries. So we don't do any residential service. So, so really, we just look to continue to grow off of our network, uh, very focused on organic growth. And, uh, you know, we have over 70,000 near net buildings. Uh, so, so we've got a lot of room that we've got a lot of customers we can uh, find with just or, or build to with just a quarter mile or a half a mile of fiber. We also look for big anchor, anchor tenants. We, we do have a lot of folks coming to us, whether it's wireless carriers or hyperscalers saying, you know, let's go build to this data center. Or let's do that. So we're certainly looking at that, um, you know, selectively, if the right M&A came up that was sort of adjacent to our footprint or one state over, we, we take a look at that. But, right. but generally, we're focused on treating our customers really well and, and just continuing to build fiber off what we have. Excellent. Great. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I want to talk next about sustainability. So how is uh, Blue? Bluebird Fiber integrating sustainable practices into your operations and the expansions that you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's something we always focus on. We're, we're owned by Macquarie, so we have a lot of sustainability and ESG targets we, we look at. Uh, we actually operate an underground data center, which is really oh, cool. Oh, that's So in itself, you're using the Earth's natural temperature to, to cool that data center. Um, so that's really neat. We've looked at ways to do that. Very efficient data center, uh, plus really cool to take customers to. So so, so that's kind of neat. Yeah. And then on everything else, right, like we, we have a, a couple of Teslas in the fleet. You know, we're always looking at ways to, to continue to look uh, and, and meet sustainability goals because at the end of the day, you know, we've got one earth here, so we all want to make it a good place to live. Yeah, absolutely. I need to get an invite to that data center. Where is it? The underground data center. Where did you say it's located? It's in Springfield, Missouri. So oh, it's in the southern cool. part of our thing. And uh, yeah, it, it's just as cool as it sounds. It's carved out of an old limestone mine. And uh, we, we take a lot of customers through there and take a lot of school tours and other things. It's a pretty neat facility. That's awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, now, finally, as the industry continues to evolve, what do you see as the biggest opportunities and challenges for fiber providers in the coming years? Yeah, I, I think for an enterprise, you know, carrier-based fiber provider like us, right, it's just continuing to, to do what's right. We're in that nice middle spot where we're not a small provider, but we're also not a large tier one provider. So folks can call our knock, get somebody on the phone quickly. They, they know their sales reps. We have local teams. Um, you know, some of this is just continuing to, to find ways to, to drive growth, right? Yeah. And, and like I said, take care of the customers. Hyperscalers uh, are, are constantly calling us, as I mentioned earlier, looking to build the data centers and other things. So balancing that really big sort of one-time demand 
uh, with just taking care of the local law firm or the local car dealer and other things. But uh, we've got a great operations team. We've got a great sales team. So we feel really confident about continuing to do that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and for sharing more about Bluebird Fiber with us today. It was great to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate yeah, it. absolutely. And to our viewers, thanks for sticking with us here at Metro Connect and happy networking.